Russia's Mikoyan MiG-41 6th generation fighter as a replacement for the Mikoyan MiG-31 is back in the news. Reports are that Russia is pushing the boundaries of aviation engineering as it accelerates the development of the MiG-41. The plane will not just chart the higher atmosphere but also leap towards lower space. It draws inspiration from the operationally well-established MiG-31M Air Dominance Fighter. The MiG-31 Foxhound had a top speed of 2.83 Mach. It was equipped with a very big arsenal of weapons and guns, including 6XR-37 long-range missiles. MiG-41 will embody all the advantages of the MiG-31 fighter interceptor jet. MiG-41 would have to be a more powerful weapon platform. Weapons would have to be carried internally. Russians say that it will introduce features not seen by the aviation world yet. Really? Time to understand the features and developmental status of this, the next from the Soviet-slash-Russian arsenal. The MiG-41 PAKDP is the evolving Russian program to develop a stealth supersonic interceptor come heavy fighter aircraft to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31 in the Russian Aerospace Forces in the mid-2030s. The actual platform designation will evolve around the time it is entering service. It will imbibe sixth generation technologies and design. The design of the PAKDP was reportedly finalized around the end of 2019. Ilya Tarasenko, the general director of the MiG Corporation, as well as the head of the Sukhoi company, said in an interview in July 2020 that the PAKDP will be created as an advancement of the MiG-31's design. Tarasenko also said that it would be a new platform design and construction capable of Mach No. 4+, equipped with an anti-missile laser, and would be able to operate at very high altitudes and even in near space, flying at altitudes between the stratopause, 45 kilometers, and the tropopause, 12 kilometers. The aircraft is also meant to borrow concepts and technologies from the MiG-31M with an advanced Zaslan M radar. It could use a variant of the Isdal I-30 engines currently under development for the Su-57. The ANTC Soyuz divulged some information on its website about the already developed R-579-300 engine, a potential match for the Su-57, among others. The principal challenge for the MiG-41 appears to be the ongoing development of the pulse detonation engine that will power the aircraft, especially the management of the engine's wear and tear, given the exceptionally dynamic load it will handle. The PAKDP will use stealth technology. Russia is developing an electromagnetic pulse gun, a potential game-changer in aerial warfare. This innovative energy gun could expand the range of achievable targets. Russia anticipates MiG-41 with electromagnetic cannon by 2025. A less powerful version of the EMP gun could be an effective deterrent against unmanned aerial vehicles. MiG-41 might also be equipped with R-37M missiles. It could be transformed into an unmanned version later. In January 2021, Rostec Corporation, the owner of Mikoyan, announced that the PAKDP had entered the development phase. The fact that the targeted first flight is in 2025 means a lot of work has already taken place. The design should have been frozen and metal cutting must have been ongoing for a long time. The aircraft powering and initial engine runs should have been completed. If the timelines are realistic, then the taxi tests must begin in 2024. The actual status of Russian aircraft is difficult to predict because of the high secrecy attached to it.
if the MiG-41 successfully completes its maiden flight by 2025, it's expected to be fully operational by 2030. The originally planned service introduction in 2028 seems very unrealistic. The early 2030s is what analysts are predicting now. As an interceptor, its primary mission was rumored to offset future reconnaissance aircraft currently being developed by the United States and China. According to some Russian media reports, the PAKDP was envisioned to become an interceptor of hypersonic missiles by carrying a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system that will dispense several sub-missiles to increase the chance of intercepting hypersonic weapons. The dispenser could also contain surface strike weapons. The PAKDP is also intended to carry anti-satellite lasers or missiles. Achieving high speeds normally means compromising maneuverability, but that is all right for the role. The MiG-41's reliance on a pulse detonation engine represents a significant technological challenge. While promising immense power, it is a notoriously complex domain. Even an appropriate ramjet development will not be easy. Such a high speed also means very high fuel burn and puts limits on range and endurance. To increase range, greater fuel would have to be carried, implying an increase in size and weight. Alternatively, it will require aerial refueling in most missions. The ability to fire at high Mach numbers would require specially designed weapons. Russia's pursuit of aerial dominance is an ambitious, bold initiative. The MiG-41 is meant to tick all the attributes of a 21st century fighter wish list, such as multispectral stealth, ultra-high speed, a turbo ranged engine, the ability to fire and shoot down hypersonic weapons and lasers, and flying to near space altitudes to destroy satellites and be heavily armed. A ramjet or turbo ramjet engine powered, giving more than Mach 4.3, would make it the fastest military aircraft on the globe. The high performance aircraft will require advanced materials and aerodynamics. Perhaps the most disruptive element in Russia's aerial arsenal, the electromagnetic pulse energy gun remains shrouded in mystery. The success of a reliable pulse detonation engine would put Russia significantly ahead in the ongoing competition for aerial supremacy.